into the complex. They will be greeted again by a whole host of more Little Leaguers. And there's the first strikeout of the game for Lee. We watch the Little Leaguers get off the bus. Another one to short, Oaks Garden. And that was quick for Justin Lee. Mission accomplished in the top of the first he inning. Struggled in the second half. Back up the middle with some top spin and chase Oaks Garden aboard for Virginia. They are baseball fans that have shown up here in Williamsport. And Law walks Yates, and now it's really getting sticky with Justin Lee. Two on for Justin Lee. And he hits one in the hole. Oaks Garden is being waved in. And now he turns the brakes on, and now we got runners. Oaks Garden and Yates between second and third. And back he goes. Oh, what a scoop over there at third by Brett Bidner. Wow, that was close. Bidner with that glove prevents two runs from scoring. All right, now, now this is this is like Little League Baseball in your own little hometown. Right. This is the stuff that you see on Saturdays starting in April every year, and I love this, okay? So it ties him up, single left field from Lee. So we're going to hold the base runner at third, but then everybody knows it quite yet. So we're moving at second, we're moving at first. Lee's on his way back. Do we go home? No, we don't. Good pick. Andrew Law putting on a big league show at one and two. That one is ripped center field. No one's going to get it. Thiam sends it to the wall. Oaks Garden scores. Yeet. Comes Justin Lee and a three run double for Liam Thiam. Liam Thiam. Part of that three pitcher no hitter for Virginia in the opener. Watch how this starts. Watch the center fielder shift it all the way over to right center field. And watch the swing. Ball just driven out to center field. Playing normal depth. He may have a chance to catch that one, at least cut it off, but not there. All the way to the wall. Liam clears the bases. Virginia strikes first three on that swing right there. This is just what Virginia did in their first win. They got a three spot. And then they started sure from Bryant and Madden and a couple of the Cubs. And the things that stick with you from your Little League are, are kind of funny. What do you remember about Middle League is Matty Frecking, our lone girl in the Little League World Series, goes back and it's makes twice. the and, and obviously it's a tall task today. Let's make sure that we're in line. He come back and win, great. But if not, we're still in a good spot. You mentioned that team. That's a good New spot. Too. That's a great one. New Orleans will take on the loser of this game tomorrow. Minnesota is over its last. We morning. got a new player over here. Sit down. Right here. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Owen. Owen? Owen, what position do you play? Pitcher and. Archer's really in touch with what's going on in the music scene, and these guys are introducing names he's unfamiliar with. Right field off the bat of Oaks Garden, and it goes to the wall. And he's chasing down a lot of guys. He's going to have to put the brakes on at second as Culpepper touches home a double for Chase Oaks Garden. He's two for two. It's a good team here. Uh, yeah, and it starts right at the top for Oaks Garden. Started this game with a single, came around to score. Now second at bat, just about went up of one hopper to the wall out in right center field. And we're playing follow the leader. Not quite sure how far it can go. <laughs> Fabulous. This one to center field. Alphins there set to tag is Coleman here. He comes throw is cut off and into third base goes Oaks Garden. So Brady Yates RBI another run comes in. What he in. didn't get last night. <laughs> Here's one into the gap in right center field. That one's going to go to the wall and that's going to bring in Oaks Garden and Lee and another double man. Virginia keeps rolling along. That's an A-plus at bat right there. And you would talk about the ball being away, away, away. And this time, Colton Hicks just takes that ball that's away, drives it into right center field. Watch the approach. Head right on it, lets that ball travel, then gets extension so that ball's really going to have some carry. That's what you do with the outside pitch. Take it the other way with authority, drives in two, and Virginia, the offense, is impressive so far. Walk to this team to Williamsport in the regionals. There you go. And that one is past the third baseman. Good piece of hitting by Chase Triplett. Another one comes in.
A little inside out. It's a pretty good fastball he's facing right now, too. Manny Frecken can run it up there. Fastball trying to go outside half. It does. A little tail to it, too. Ops the head on it. First at bat of the day for Chase Triplett. Mm. Got a chance to talk to one yeah, of his just ducked underneath that. So we are even two and two with the bases loaded. There you go. That one's there. Right down the middle and a strikeout for Matty Frecking. And the second out of the inning. Good job, Matty. The base is loaded, too. This is the one you get the infield in. Yeah, two sink. Both fingers right over it. You can see that action that's kind of moving down in the zone. Good job by Drew Law, the catcher, to go out and get it as far as he can to try to get that strike at the bottom part of the zone. On a historical day with the major leaguers in town, more history being made here. Victoria Roach in 84, the first girl to play. Victoria Brucker, the first to start a game. Monet, the first pitcher to win a game. That was the history of the girls at the Little League World Series. But that one looked like a foul ball off of foot. Yeah. But Matty Frecking is off the mound to make the play. Terrific high five, well deserved, and a tremendous bare hand play. Base is loaded, one <laughs> out. Love it. We're going to go punch out to get to two outs. Matty Frecking, who usually plays second base, so she, she can feel the position wherever she goes. Bare hand, get the closest out to end the inning. Every coach has a contract. Again, we got about 10 of those. Oh, clubhouse, trainers. There might be about 40 guys that I'm in charge of in the clubhouse during the course of the season, so I gotta, I gotta keep my eyes on a lot of things. Okay, <laughs> now go get them. There's a bunt that is fair. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Go no get it. Oh, Pepper. How quick is he out of the gate with a little fist pump? Right. Preserving that no hitter for this team. He was right on it. You know, I saw Marte got a little injured, so you know I turned the volume on my phone just in case. So you did. Yeah. What you are you gonna do? I liked it. Okay. I figured there was a small chance. Didn't think it would actually happen. And then my phone started ringing and. I panicked, and I wasn't going to answer it. You panicked? Well, did you know, the, did you know the number? A, yeah, it was it was the manager, his uh, <laughs> Espo from AAA. It's not simple. I mean, yeah. you're, you're facing the best guys in the world every night. Yeah, I mean, that's tough. Single here, will play to run, and the ball is finally dragged in by the catcher. It moves Virginia into a 9 nothing advantage here okay. in the third. So you talked about it. I'm just interested. You, you, you talked about the college route. W what about that route? What about Vanderbilt and the run that you had there prepared you for what's happened here the last few years? I mean, Vanderbilt. Hey, you're doing an awesome job. They get crazy, awesome crazy smile. pitchers every year. And, uh, you know, I got to face that every fall. Smile. That prepared me to go play <laughs> in the SEC, awesome which job, is right? go right the best field. conference in the country oh, yeah. for baseball, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just it set me up for for what was next, and yeah, Tim Corbin, what he's doing over there is crazy, you know. It's fun to watch. You get another one this year. He's yeah. building something pretty good. Yeah, he is. And then it, you can get into a 15 and 10, but I don't think we're going to get there. This one is down the line and go, go, go. caught. Go oh, what a play! Lucas Squire, runner tags. In fact, both runners are tagging, and wow. Two runs are going to score on a web gem by Lucas Squire. Only the second out of the inning. So a, a sacrifice fly with two RBI. It's an incredible catch. And it is yeah, a catch. It. Lucas, you're not going to forget that one, buddy. And you're going to see it a few more times tonight. It would have been an yeah, amazing North Carolina in 2017. The first U.S. team to go back to back no hitters to start. And they are joined by Virginia. Back to back no hitters to start the Little League World Series. The sixth team to do it, the second by a United States team. And congratulations to Justin Lee. We've focused on Plains landing. <laughs> Pittsburgh, Chicago, Lee just landed that Virginia plane as he throws his 54th pitch of the day. Pretty good. Not bad. It was the last batter he could face if he was going to stay eligible for Wednesday, and he took full advantage of it. A couple strikeouts to end the day for Justin Lee on the day. That's six total in four innings. He also reached base all three times, scored all three times. Yep.